Good day, everyone. I am here at Universal Studios Hollywood to check out some more Halloween Horror Nights construction. As you can see behind me, it is a very, very busy day. So I'm most likely just going to check out Horror Nights construction. Hopefully, maybe get on one or two rides, but not counting on it. And with that, let's get right into the video. So here we have the first official maze location for one of the mazes that have been announced in the past couple of weeks. This is obviously for The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. And as you can see, it is a giant book. It looks great. This is going to be a sequel to the 1935 The Bride of Frankenstein. So very, very exciting. I really love the corners of the books. And I wonder if for the right side that's empty, if it's just going to be a description of what happened in The Bride of Frankenstein or whatnot, just to give the people who haven't seen the movie a little recap, I guess. So not much to see over here. But then over to the right a little bit, you could see some of the lighting getting set up. So this is a very big scene that you're going to be walking into. Super tall, I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe uh, Frankenstein's castle, but that's been destroyed. I couldn't even tell you how many times now. Two? So, we will see what it will all be soon. And then here behind Revenge of the Mummy, we officially have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So it looks like the ending of the maze is going to be the graveyard. Because that does look like a little catacomb or... I, I don't know what they're called in cemeteries. Then I think up front is going to be the Sawyer House. Where you will begin the maze and first encounter Leatherface. They also covered the very end of the maze so it looks like it's just gonna be another black room with a scare square in there so we shall see with time so my worry for this year is the lack of mazes the amount of mazes that's going to be at Halloween Horror Nights because let's say the two mazes that are at Curious George are going or we're at the tram warehouse. We still lost the three mazes that are in the back lot. So unless Universal um, decreases capacity, the park is going to be packed and these mazes are going to be three to four hour waits. So hopefully Universal has something in plan so that the lines do not get too long during this Halloween season because we also missed all the 2020s so people are hungry for a Halloween event especially Horror Nights and I just I really hope we get Beetlejuice but I'm not counting on it because so far all of all that has been said is that it's going to be in Orlando so again time will tell but I really do hope that we get Beetlejuice, we get in another maze somewhere because it's it's going to be very, very packed if they don't reduce capacity. Another thing is, is people are saying that the Terror Tram is gonna come back, but how is the Terror Tram gonna come back while people need to walk over to the Curious George mazes? I highly doubt Universal is going to allow guests to walk near tramps that are in motion. So, I don't think there's gonna be a terror tram this year, even though there has been rumors and speculation that it might happen. Because if there is, there's nowhere for guests to walk. So, right over here, it shows sandwiches, coffee, pop, and beer. Uh, that does not look like a warehouse anymore, or silver shamrock then you could see even some of the silver bricks that were on top um, 
I don't know. <laughs> and I am in a public location seeing what the maze could be. So I'm not reaching behind walls, around walls. I'm not reaching over walls. This is all visible from where I am standing. So right here we have what looks like a panel that was used in 2019 for the Curse of Pandora's box, which is the Hades scene. It's, there's a big shadow on it right now, but... For Horror Nights, I'm not a big fan of returning mazes, especially when they are super creative in what original mazes they could bring in, or even IPs. But Curse of Pandora's Box was one of my favorite mazes, so hopefully there's new rooms, new scenes, new scares, so on and so forth, but that is a panel for the Curse of Pandora's Box. We also have one right over here. And there is more of the Curse of Pandora's Box wall set design. It looks like the Hades scene. And then on the facade, you could see some of the browns and the grayish, like dirty color tones that are on the facade. It does resemble Curse of Pandora's Box a lot. So if it is that maze, I just really hope there are new scenes, new scares. And then over here at the other Curious George maze, still no facade work going on unless there is a secret tent maze we don't know about we i think this might be the haunting of hill house i hope not i hope we get beetlejuice still because what i've seen is that orlando is only getting beetlejuice and what universal sent out in an email so i really hope that's not true i really hope beetlejuice does come to hollywood but we do also have these two boxes. I don't know what they are, but are they scares? Are they scenes? I don't know what these things are. So that will do it for me here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Again, there's a lot of construction happening, but just the maze to guess ratio is going to worry me a little bit. There's a lot of construction happening for the Bride of Frankenstein lives. We know where the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is officially located. We don't know where the Haunting of Hill House is going to fully be yet. And the second means that Curious George does look like it has some panels for the Curse of Pandora's box. But time will tell with what mazes will be what. Um, and with that, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.